Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Emma, and we're playing Dragon Age 2. Alright. We're in the Fade. <laughs> and a really creepy Fade at that. Is this supposed to be the gallows? Like, where the mages are kept? And slaves. Let's, let's also remember that this is where slaves were kept. And I want you to understand that, that subtle imagery. Okay. <laughs> Let's, let's walk around. Am I supposed to catch this book? Book, why are you, why are you doing this? Oh, fuck me. Stop that. Give me that book. Did I get it? I thought I grabbed it. No, he's fucking right there. Give me that book. Oh, is this like the fade from Origins where we just kind of get skill points? Let's see. I just got a random one. That's cool. I'm cool with that. Okay, so I'll keep an eye out for those. Noted. Okay, my elf party in bay. Let's, I don't want to go in the main looking room first. Let's go this way. Barrels. Is this a puzzle? What am I trying? What is this? I'm just like happily clicking things. Did I do it right the very? No, I didn't. Oh no, I was about to like jinx myself. I was like, I did it right the first time. I can only go up and down now. I have fucked myself. Will you scoot to the right? Mm-hmm. Go to the left. Oh! That scared me so bad. I didn't even see what it was. Like, I literally had a hot second moment because I was focusing so hard. I'm just trying to figure out the puzzle, Dragon Age. <gasps> Can you fucking not? Oh, do I not? Oh, do I only get so many clicks? Should I go back and start over again? <sighs> if it does, I'll go back and do it, and we'll put it at the beginning of next episode. That's right after that save. Fucking... Oh, that's right. Paige said there were lots of puzzles. Mm, I didn't know that they were like timed or whatever, but they only had a certain number of available clicks. I see you little firefly things, which just makes me really psyched for the next fucking The Last of Us. More barrels? See, the thing is, I want to do these right on one hand so you guys can see what happens. But on the other hand, I don't want to just, like, walk through the whole thing, as in, like, use a guide. And I am obviously, like, trying. Like, how do I... Do I have to get all the red ones together? the red ones together. It's like Candy Crush, but not. I'll go over there. Is that not it? Guys, it's really hard to click on a... Oh, is this supposed to be a hint? This is supposed to be a hint. Okay. Can I redo these? 
how am I gonna get these guys on top of one another? games <laughs> somebody give me a gold star <laughs> what are we supposed to be looking at in here other than chamber pots is there nothing fires are lit on all sides I don't, am I over analyzing this Perhaps I am. So I got that one. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we can't go in here. Okay, big room it is. Oh, can we talk to Anders slash Justice? There is an injustice here that must be stopped, one way or another. Yes, sir. Well, oh. it's rare to see two forgotten magics in one day. It's usually a slow place, the Fade. Not many surprises. I wasn't sure I'd like this one, but it has potential. The Demon of Sloth. It exists to make men forget their purpose and their pride. Do not relax around it. Yes, sir. Call me Torpor. I have a proposition that might interest you. Ah. <sighs> So, I don't want to work with demons. Like, there's nothing good that's going to come of this. But at the same time, I want to see where this goes. I have a feeling like Anders is going to frown on it anytime we work with demons. Meryl's going to be more understanding and be like, well, it's a means to an end, so it should be fine. And I'm pretty sure Fenris just hates all of this. Um, let's, let's not. Like, if I do another playthrough where I'm not trying to romance Anders, it might be something we consider. Like, a more capricious hawk. But my hawk is very altruistic and good-hearted. I will not give in to temptation, fiend. Have it your way. Do we have to battle him now? Yep. Yeah, I called everybody's. But this updated her quest. I kind of want to know what happens. Okay. Oh, I got another point. I'll handle that after this battle. It's kind of important to do this. Although we have... Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a lot more difficult. My bad. And also, I hate the way that it's like out of focus. I feel like my contacts aren't in. Although I admittedly have really, really bad vision. It's way worse than this. Like, without my contacts. Fainreal's pride. Fainreal's desires. Which one should we do? We're already near pride. Or does Anders really want to do that one? Baby, where are you going? What is he doing? Anders, my dear. Anders. All right. Honey, we're up here. Do you have issues with pride, my dear? This looks like the Seneschal slash Viscount's office. This isn't timed, is it? Like, should I be, like, urgently, ooh, be on the veil? I'm all, like, making plans, and I'm like, no, bug. <laughs> Especially because it's about something cool. This is a little lengthy, guys, so buckle up. Beyond the veil, spirits and demons. It is challenging enough for the casual observer to tell the difference between the Fade and the creatures that live within it, let alone between one type of spirit and another. In truth, there is little that distinguishes them, even for the most astute mages, since spirits are not physical entities and are therefore not restricted to recognizable forms or even having a form at all, one can never tell for certain what is alive and what is merely part of the scenery. It is therefore advisable for the inexperienced researcher to greet all objects he encounters. 
That'd be crazy. You just walk up to a dining table and I'm like... Typically, we misuse the term spirit to refer only to the benign, or at least less malevolent, creatures of the Fade. But in truth, all the denizens of the realm beyond the Veil are spirits. As the chant of light notes, everything within the Fade is a mimicry of our world. A poor imitation, for the spirits do not remotely understand what they are copying. It is no surprise that much of the Fade appears like a manuscript translated from Tevinter into Orlesian and back again by drunken initiates. In general, spirits are not complex. Or rather, they are not complex as we understand such things. Each one seizes upon a single facet of human experience. Rage, hunger, compassion, hope, etc. This one idea becomes their identity. We classify as demons those spirits who identify themselves with darker human emotions and ideas. I really, really like that this person's being objective here, and it's not, they're not demons and spirits. They're all spirits. And we call the ones demons that are taking the parts of us that we don't necessarily like and epitomizing them. Also, it's really interesting to think, like, if a spirit had to, or demon, had to epitomize you, what would be your dominant emotion the one that you either experience most or try to exhibit most. And what would they become as a result? That's really cool. I'm going to try to like think about that and decide by the end of the episode if I remember. If I don't remember, somebody passed me in the comments and I'll hopefully have figured it out by then. <laughs> the most common and weakest form of demon one encounters in the Fade is the Rage Demon. I didn't think they were the weakest. And I wouldn't even call them the most common if we're going to go by the ones that we actually see the most. Because those are the fiery ones. We see the normal shades, I guess, but they don't. Kind of like the same model as the Torpor. They are much like perpetually boiling kettles, for they exist only to vent hatred, but rarely have an object to hate. Somewhat above these are the hunger demons, who do little but eat or attempt to eat everything they encounter, including other demons. This is rarely successful. <laughs> Could you imagine some fucking, like, you're trying to do demon things and there's some other guy, like, attached to your shoulder just numbing away. And then there are the sloth demons. They miss a lot of them. There's a desire demon. Are we going to talk about those? Okay, good. There it is. I'm getting ahead of myself. These are the first intelligent creatures one typically finds in the Fade. They are dangerous only on those rare occasions that they can be induced to get up and do harm. <laughs> They're lazy. Desire demons are more clever and far more powerful, using all forms of bribery to induce mortals into their realms. Wealth, love, vengeance, whatever lies closest to your heart. The most powerful demons yet encountered are the pride demons, perhaps because they, among all their kind, most resemble men. I love that. I love that shit. It's so good. Okay. Where are we going to put our point this time? More... I'm trying to keep willpower and magic somewhat equivalent. Wait, did I get two? Oh, I do have two. Wait, let's just equalize them. Bam. Okay. No, I don't want to play Anders. I want to click on Anders. There is an injustice okay. here that must be stopped. One way or I'm sorry. I just wanted to see if there was dialogue. I forgot to clean out all my saves. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I will do that, though. Man, I should have done that right as I got in here, but I didn't think about it. Everything here is cold. Hard stone. I wish I'd worn shoes with soles now. Oh, man. We should move on. Fenris has the right idea. I get you. Oh. Oh. What's happening? My people, I present to you our hope. His features may mark him as human, but in his heart beats the blood of the Dales. He came to us to learn his heritage, to release the power from a lineage as ancient as our race. I... I don't know what to say. I know who this guy is because I've, you know, unfortunately been exposed to a lot more than I would have liked. You, you can't. But... Wait, what? Are we supposed to 
I don't know how we're supposed to interpret this. Uh, is this, are we responding for him? Or are we responding for the masses? I guess we're gonna find out. I, don't, I want him to get in touch with the elven side. Humans are gonna be dicks and we want him to be at least safe. Obviously, I'm somewhat biased towards elves. We all know this. Your power could restore the elves to their former glory. First enchanter. You're not going to tell me my magic makes me dangerous. He is first enchanter, child, but also an elf. You have a gift we feared lost. As a dreamer, you can tap the power of the Fade and the spirits within, as we all once did. <laughs> Who am I telling she's a demon? It's not Marathari, is it? They're obviously like... I'm confused. I think... Without knowing more on this, I, I'm not familiar with this encounter. I've always been of the opinion that magic is a tool. It is what you make of it. It is how you use it, good or evil. So if you take something and you use it for good, then good it becomes. You will change the course of history, Fainreal. You no. Know, all my nightmares do is wake me up screaming. What power is that? A dreamer's mind shapes the fade. Open yourself to the spirits, oh. and you can bring that control to the mortal realm. Spirits? You mean demons? Weren't you... Keeper Marathari warned me of this. Oh, am I doing You're bad the things? Keeper. Mother's people have no circle, but they don't consort with demons. You. Why did you interfere? Oh, hey, Megan. With my power joined to his, Fainreal would have changed the world. The boy only wants his freedom, not your power. Those who are free to choose always want power. That's not true. You think your friends are different? You think this elf, with her innocent face, would turn down a demon's offer? She didn't before. How about it? Would you take what I offered the boy? Scion of the Dalish, savior of elven kind. Can you do that? I am the greatest of my kind. Whatever tricks your little pet has taught you will pale in comparison. Wait, wait, are we letting Meryl take this? <laughs> what? Um, A, this isn't my decision to make, this is hers. I guess we can comment on it. Um, it's hard, because having played Inquisition, There's so much more that we don't know about the way that demons and spirits and everything in between interact. Um, I'm probably overthinking this. I don't... Yeah, I don't think we can trust it. Because I, from the way that they've been portrayed so far, the spirits who mimic the worst of human emotion tend to just use it for their own good and power of running around and doing stuff. I, I understand her, her platform here, Meryl's platform, of trying to be trusting and trying to give people the benefit of the doubt. And there is merit in that. But I don't think this is the right circumstance to apply that. Demons always turn on you in the end. Yeah, there we go. I cannot put you ahead of the fate of my people. You took my dreamer. Now you'll take his place. Oh, we took some serious rivalry from that. I mean, like, I, I get Meryl. I get her viewpoint as well, but she's being unreasonable here. And I think it's because we need to sit down and have a talk about... The differences in what they want, like there's a huge difference between a spirit of wisdom and a, you know, pride demon, which is I'm pretty sure what this is. She needs to have a sit down with Solus is what she needs to do. 
That was a hefty, hefty hit. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 are we killing her? She's not in our party anymore. We'll have to see what comes of this. Oh, am I in a bubble? I'm in crushing prison. What's going on? Where is Meryl? Where is Meryl? What happened? <laughs> Did she wake up or leave the fade? Holy God. There's a part of me that's like, we're probably gonna have to play this over again. <laughs> Rage, demons. They seek the dreamer's power. I do remember who was speaking for a hot second. Meryl's being selfish. We have shit to do. Thanks, generous. All right, let's get this taken care of. Cause now that we're down, this is where we came in. Yes. Then you go down one more door. Okay, we're gonna do another. Who are we now? Are we Marathari? No, we're mom. That's it, Fainriel. Hard on the downstroke, then lift. Good. Aww. I'll have you scraping all my letters soon. If I'd known you were such a great lad, I'd have brought you into the business years ago. Does that mean I can come with you to Antietam, Father? Mother said maybe this summer. Right, Mother? Oh, he just wants his dad. A family. Oh, <laughs> poor baby. Should uh... I don't know. I'm a I'm a I'm a realist. I don't spare people the consequences of their actions, regardless of who they are. So, for context, like if your family member is a dick to you, it, it's not okay because of your family member. They're still a dick, regardless of any association, whether that be blood or whatnot. Your father never wanted anything to do with you. Don't trust him. Why are you lying to me? Don't listen, son. She's always been ashamed of you. She wanted you gone, so she could go back to the dailies. I'm the one who loves you. But... Why can't I remember you? That's so harsh! It's not your father, Fainriel. You're trapped in the Fade by a demon. A demon? No. No, I want this! Then remember this is who took away them. Only thing you ever wanted. Ah! Oh, it's like you. You turned him against me. Oh, I love that. Oops. I, I mean, I would prefer not to fight. Leave now, and I will not pursue you. You cannot negotiate with demons. Oh, I'm sorry, Anders. You can't honestly believe that will happen. You have cost me a dreamer. But at least you will provide me a death. I'm gonna... Oh, I didn't get any, like, rep changes, though. We've got... Anders looks like he's got it. We're really almost done here. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Yeah, see, these are the ones we get. The ones that are just called the shades. This one was real short. Let me make sure there's nothing back here. Okay. Yeah, we just need to be sure. Fain real. Are you okay? I can't spend another moment in this place. 
screaming. Everywhere, all I hear are the nightmares of people dying, fleeing, gnawing their own arms off to escape. This is a world of monsters. And they all want me. Please, help me escape. Help me die. Whoa! No. What the shit? Why would you just murder that poor boy? If I kill you here, I only destroy your mind. You will become a tranquil. I was afraid of that for so long. I can't even remember why. To live. To sleep without dreaming. To never hear a demon's whisper. It is a blessing as great as standing at the Maker's side. Do it. Put the knife in my heart. No! You can master this talent, Fainreal. You don't have to let it destroy you. The Dalish do not have what I need. Perhaps to Vinter. If oh, these no. powers can be trained, it would be there. Um. I'm like waiting for the Fenris remarks. I can do this. You got it, baby. You got it. Did we do it? Fainrail has mastered his powers. Oh, then he lives. You saved him. I cannot thank you enough. Keeper Marathari, may I return with you to the Sunderlands? I would like to ask for my son's forgiveness. Of course. It was you who chose to stay away. Yeah, we might want to let them know that Fainrail's leaving. He must go elsewhere to train. There is no one in Kirkwall to help him. He asked me to say goodbye. My son? No. I must find him before he goes. It is wise for him to seek guidance. Kirkwall cannot provide what he needs. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. You have my apologies. It is easy to forget that one cannot bind demons with words. Your friend awakened here some time ago. No one is immune to a demon's offer. You accomplished a miracle with Fainreal. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our oh, tribe. No. It has a rare magic beyond price. Don't give it to Please me. Accept it with my gratitude. No. No, the elf in me goes, no. <laughs> Keep that within the people. <laughs> Why would you give it to some human? Okay. So, it looks like Meryl just woke up and was like, Oh, mm, I'm sorry. It's kind of a dick. He so, yeah. Yeah, you turned on us in the fucking fate. That's a problem. Maybe Meryl is not so cute and naive as she seems. Maybe it's just ignorance. Which is a much... You could get another cat, you know. There's one in the low town market with a litter of kittens ready to wean. You don't pay attention to Templars, Kunari, or politics, but you notice kittens. Templars, Kunari, and politics don't meow and attack your feet when you're buying food. Are there any tabbies? Oh. I'd like a tabby. Oh, so precious. Let's make sure um, we don't have her to talk to since they're right here. I think I remember reading that if there's any dialogue options, it will be in our journal. But I'm here, so let's do it. Okay, good, and yeah, maybe she has some explaining to do after that stunt. I, I can't believe I turned on you. With the demon in the fade, I'm so sorry. Masaranas, I'll understand if you can't forgive me. I don't know how I want to handle this. Like, obviously, uh, I don't want to be like, you can't ever come back. But that was a problem. I don't want to be understanding. Because it was her. But I don't want to be like, this is your last chance. I want to sit down and kindly have a conversation about how... It, Next time, this, she might have hurt somebody that we care about. Maybe it is this. Maybe this is last chance. Because we can't run around with somebody like that. 
These things don't just happen. That was a choice. This will be my first anger react, you guys, I think. The next time you betray me, oh. I'll cut you down. I won't. I, I would never. Maseranus. I've been so careful in all my dealings with spirits until now. To make such an obvious mistake. It frightens me. It takes so little for a mage to fall. Um, n that was a way harsher than I wanted to be. <sighs> what made you give in? It felt like every word the demon spoke reached out and pulled at my heart. I didn't want to believe it, but I just had to. What do you do to protect yourself from demons? The Keeper taught me. In the Fade, you must believe nothing but yourself. Mm -hmm. Everything there is a lie, or a trick, or a trap. I knew not to trust, and I don't know why I did. You're already in a lot more danger than most mages. Because of the blood magic. I know. I'll be more guarded from now on. Thank the creators you were there. It won't happen again. I'll make sure of that. Thank you. <laughs> Holy God. <laughs> that was, that was a trip. Um, I, th I think that turned out okay. I'm kind of worried about Fainreal. Um, just fucking off for Tevinter. I'm really surprised we didn't get any dialogue from Fenris about that. Um, I wish we could have also been like, I understand that you need to get better training. I'm not sure Tevinter is the place. They're not nice. All of the things I wish could be incorporated in the story. I know, I know. Wow, that was a lot to take in. I hope, I, I need to see, do we even have any things with night, night terrors anymore? I guess we don't. Damn. I don't know what this one is. Damn, is that it? Is that all we see of Fainreal? Maybe at least for this act? I don't know if there's another time jump between the acts. That's a lot of questions and not a lot of answers. All right, I'll probably be pondering over this for a while, so please feel free to flood me with comments. I'd love to like, kind of talk about what might happen here in the future, what did happen. I feel bad about the first barrels, though. I fucked them up. I thought I had more. I thought I had more room to maneuver. Oh, well, we got the second one on my own. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope that you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.